Hey guys, it's a bombing 5,052 degrees in central Alabama. And I'm about to go check on my chickens to see how they're faring in the new environment. We have some new chicks on the farm. They were over roostered. And so they look really rough. Some of them look really, really bad. They're not like bleeding or anything. They just don't have any feathers. A lot of them you can see are just skin bare. So they're over here with no roosters around rehabilitating. And I'm about to change this water because it's sitting under these walnut trees and I have to change it so very often because of that. Like two to three times a week, I have to change this water. But that's where my hose reaches for now. So it's kind of annoying that I have to do it under the trees. My um, well pump part of it has a leak in it. So my spigots that are actually in the goat pasture over here where the chickens are right now are actually off till we can get that fixed. So I don't know when that is because we don't know where the leak is. We can't find the leak. And on a normal basis, most of the time, I have this catchment here just for runoff from the roof to catch. But we have these automatic waterers over here to help keep it a little cleaner. But they're both off because this side of the well doesn't work. So that's something we have to remedy really soon. I'm trying to leave the gate open in between the goat pasture and the chicken coop with all my normal chickens in it or the ones that have been here for a while which they're all hiding i think because it's so hot they're all in the coop in the shade but i'm trying to introduce them they've been through a fence for a while so i'm just trying to introduce them to the other ones while they're here and the ones that are on this side they have they can go inside the barn and sleep but some of them sleep out here which i tell them is not smart because the owls and hawks may get them probably not hawks at night but the owls will definitely wreak some havoc i do have this net kind of pulled out so that they've got a little bit of shade over there just not this time of day we're trying to get them in shape the problem with these chickens i have found is that they're not accustomed to laying in a chicken nest apparently because I just keep finding random eggs everywhere all over the barn everywhere so there are places for them to lay they're just not used to it yet so hopefully when we get them all moved to the other side we can keep track of it a little bit better but I think they're gonna be pretty look this girl just in the time I've had her her feathers are already starting to grow back So we got some pretty breeds here. These guys are really pretty. Gorgeous. They have the black combs and the black eyes. They are a cross breed between these um, Orphingtons and then their daddy is an A-M, A-Y-A-M, which is the solid black chicken. So I'm hoping that we can get these guys rehabilitated really quickly. But I've gotta go move my water because it's probably overflowing in the other chicken coop real quick and then <laughs> We'll see how the other side's doing after that, maybe.
you guys are actually wondering why my water is red is because we have well water and it's so much iron in it that it actually is kind of orange when it comes out but it settles to the bottom that's why i also have to clean it out very often so that's done that's quick and easy when you do it a lot it's easy when you have not let it sit for long periods of time i have learned that it just sprays out really good the algae comes out it's not really a lot of algae it's mostly just limbs and stuff from the walnuts and they make it turn like a black color so it's either orange or black but i figure it won't kill them if it's a little bit black it's not got algae growing in it and i just try to do it two or three times a week just to keep the mosquito population and all that down but I do not do it every day. So if that's a crime, then I'm sorry. I just don't have time to do it every day, but it does not get bad. I make sure that it does not get to a state where it would be unhealthy for them to actually drink it. See what I'm talking about? I just found these today. I know they're from today because I checked all in here yesterday. So we have them here. I found some more over in the hay that's over here. Actually, it's like down between those boards in the hay. So it's like almost impossible for me to be able to get to it. But I'm gonna have to get some pinchy things and try to reach down there if I can find something. But yeah, free range is the name of the game right now and the eggs are everywhere we got an escapey chicken which is fine if i'm out here but not good if i leave the premises because my dogs are puppies and they're not intuitive to leaving them alone where are you going do you want to go in the coop i mean i guess you can We'll see if she gets bullied or not. She just went into enemy territory. <laughs> we shall see. Hey, Annie. Here's the goat girls over here. I let them on the chicken coop side today too, as well. <laughs> Say hey, Annie. Say hey. <laughs> we'll come do a little goat hangout soon. All the girls are way down in the field. Let me come over here where there's not any wire. Yep, there. Way down there. Fresh water. For the shorties and for the taller ones. And I'm going to have to replace this because it has a hole in the bottom. But it's a slow leak. I have some putty in there, but it still leaks really slow. So I've got to find something waterproof to get in the bottom of it and get it secure so it'll stop losing so much water. Oh, that was a quick and easy, so I will see y'all later. Bye, guys.